What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome uh, video and today this is going to be Q&A video number, I believe, four, yeah. Um, and so I've got I've got some answers or some questions that you guys have asked me here on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me. This is how if you guys have a question that you're just dying to know or whatever, you can either one DM me DM me and I can respond to you, or you can wait and you just wait until I like. You know, I guess you could DM me and I could obviously put this in a video too, but. I put a little thing on Instagram for you guys to, to let me know if you guys have any questions and I'm going to do a Q&A video. So that's what we're doing. It's actually right after school. It is uh, 4.22 right now and I just got off of school. I'm down here at this pond right here actually next to the highway. You guys have actually never seen me fish here before um, and I've actually never fished here before um, and I've got some rods in the car. Uh, a chatterbait and a shaky head right now. We've got some lures and a backpack, and uh, this is that video is going to be completely separate. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch some fish. And I'm going to kind of go over with you guys how I approach a new body of water that I've never fished before. So how I go approaching it, uh, my lure choice, why I pick those lures, and that kind of thing. But that will be in a whole separate video. So stay tuned for that one, and hope that I can catch some fish. But other than that, I'm going to set the camera down on my car sit down here on the curb you know right there and answer some uh, questions you guys have asked alrighty guys I know this is just a tad bit far away I'm gonna hopefully I'm getting as good audio as I can um, but I've got some questions on my phone right here you also might be able to not be able to see my eyes you know but I've got some questions right here I'm gonna go over and answer them very briefly and uh, we'll get on and hopefully I'll be able to make go make another video down there for you guys coming later this week to the weekend so uh, question number one comes from chasing the bite the bite um, what are some tips on starting a YouTube fishing channel so um, I actually get this a whole lot because most of you guys are fishermen um, that's what the whole point in the channel is about you know fishing and I would just say try to fish as much as you can and just try fish and learn as much knowledge because in that knowledge you can then transfer and uh, sharing it with other people uh, your audience through YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that um, you're obviously making a fishing channel so just you know try to try to fish as much as you can try to show as many tips as you can because people always need tips to catch bigger bass catch more fish um, and so that kind of thing you know no, just I, I like to just try to get out there and fish, especially right now. Um, for me, it's springtime. It's becoming great, um, great weather at least. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get some fish today. Um, but you know, just try to get out there and fish as much as you can. So um, I would say that's probably one of the better tips. Um, next is from uh, Burgess Dot Joseph. Joseph, what's up, man? Um, what's your favorite bait to use during spring? So I throw a lot of chatter baits. Um, so that's probably one of my top favorite baits. The next one is I like to try to flip as much as I can too. Um, that's really something that I even want to increase this year and this springtime. Hello, truck. Um, but yeah, definitely a chatter bait. It's a great moving bait, great search bait to try to find those fish and locate a, a good area where those fish are uh, uh, holding on to yeah um, next is the countryside outdoor that just kind of stops right there because the name is so long but I think it's the countryside outdoorsman um, will you ever come fish Ohio ponds you bet um, I actually have a friend that lives in Ohio I believe Ohio or Illinois I can't completely remember he might even be watching this video you know uh, but I believe he lives in Ohio. If he still lives there, I'm gonna be going up there and uh, one hanging out with him and also two like fishing and maybe even ice fishing or something. I don't completely know but yes, I'll definitely be coming to Ohio as soon as I can. Um, next is from Henry Ravens. Um, how much money do you make from your bait company? Um, that's kind of like a personal question. Um, not, not, you know, not to be rude or anything, you know, but 
it's kind of like a personal question, but you know, I did make enough, you know, enough to one keep running it, two like buy new baits every once in a while, um, and then just kind of like experiment with bait ideas for the company. You know, um, you know, it's it's okay, it's good. Um, we're doing good. Um, what uh, Hunter Quinn six three five three asks. How old were you when you caught your first fish? Um, I can't really remember this because I believe I caught my first fish like uh, a really long time ago at the house that I used to live in. Um, and I don't even know if I really caught it. It might have been me and my friend like a group effort, you know. We were down fishing at a neighborhood pond that had tons of catfish, I believe, in it. It might have even been a catfish. Um, the next fish I remember is another catfish and then like a big 10 to 12 pound catfish um, or like a tiny like three quarters of an ounce or quarter of an ounce three quarters of a pound bass a very small bass caught at one of my ponds and that was even a couple years ago so I don't really remember um, sorry Hunter um, what's up uh, soul no okay what's the matter of the truck here yeah, dump trucks. It's a highway, guys. Um, old soul bass fishing. Um, you ever gonna? You ever gonna down in Texas? Down to Texas, bro. Uh, I'm sure you meant. Or am I ever gonna come to Texas? Uh, definitely, most definitely. That's one of my spots that I want to come fish uh, first. Like before I go to like all the other states, Texas, and then somewhere up north, like Ohio, Illinois. Like those northern states where I can ice fish. That's my plan. Um, next is from ben.christian.bc. Um, and he asks, how did you get into fishing? Um, honestly, I don't really know. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know how I got into fishing to be at this point. I've always kind of fished, but I've never fished. I've never had like rods and I've never really been into it like I, I we, we would have like like little Barbie rods and Zepco reels and that kind of thing but we never really got into fishing until like three years ago I've been really just fishing for three years hardcore so I, I honestly I don't really know how to answer that man I'm sorry um, the next one is from Jimmy underscore not um, and he asks if you if you weren't a bass fisherman what would you be fishing for this is actually a great question and I was thinking, I went over these questions during school today because, you know, that's what YouTubers do. They get on, when they're in school, you get on Instagram or you get on YouTube and just look at stuff. Um, and uh, I was I was thinking and I was like, what would I be, you know? Uh, but I really think uh, I have found, out of the species that I have caught, I have really found a love for trout. Um, and I, obviously, I don't catfish much. This is this is a bass channel, primarily. Uh, but I love trout fishing. They're super fun, especially on a fly rod. Um, yeah, I don't I don't really know because I also haven't experimented that many different species, you know. So um, hopefully, I'll be able to do that this year. Um, so great question, though. Um, next is from Logan Meyer, 15, I believe. Um, what kind of boat do you have? I actually don't have a boat at this moment, um, but I do have an inflatable kayak uh, that you guys saw last year, I believe. I think so. Uh, it wasn't a very popular video, obviously, because I didn't have that many subscribers at that time, but um, some of you guys might have seen it. Some of you guys might have might be watching this video from that then um, and I thank you guys for that but uh, hopefully I'll be able to get in that this year and go do some videos on that um, next is uh, from Josh 2255 um, what are some other good springtime baits so I already talked about chatterbait I love chatterbaits I love flipping like a Texas rig um, because now this time of year either the fish are going to be active they're going to be either deep or they're going to be like pushed up because right now it's pretty hot and in the middle of the day if it's pretty hot like it's 80 degrees today and they're going to be pushed up for shade trying to find a little bit cooler water maybe um, but 
uh, like I said, Texas rigs, that kind of stuff, jigs, uh, swimming jigs. You guys haven't seen me talk, heard me talk about swimming jigs a whole lot. Um, what else? Some top water baits, not a whole lot of frogs yet, uh, especially for me because the grass isn't. Oh my gosh! I'm looking in my car and there, there is a freaking bee, guys. Okay, please. Oh my gosh, it's right there. It just flew in front of the camera. It's right there. Oh, thank the Lord that thing got out of there. Man. Um, so, yeah, but you can, I haven't talked a whole lot about a swim jig. Um, and then a frog, but not a frog, um, unless you live down in like Florida. Because the grass here is not developed yet. And so the bass are really hiding in the grass for me as much. And that's where my, uh, frogs really exceed. So maybe like a topwater bait, like a whopper plopper, or a popper, or something like that. Um, let's see. Next one is Mike Sorensen, 55. Uh, what is your PB bass, and what did you catch it on? Um, so I actually caught it on a, an imitator bait, bladen jig, and a uh, like a bluegill looking color. It's actually a prototype color. Um, or just like a prototype bait just in general just to try it out and it was a six and a half pound bass I'll put it up on the screen right now But it was a giant. That's my PB um, I caught it on that lure which is super cool because I make and sell those you know I make them by hand and sell them to you guys um, and uh, It's really cool to catch a fish on a big fish that on the lure that you make you know so um yeah, that was that was very cool. I'll put the link down to that video down in the description as well. Um, next, this is the very last question, and I think this is a great one to end on, is Carson825. Yes, why did you create a YouTube channel? You know, a lot of people create YouTube channels for, like, money, uh, to get famous, you know, just different stuff. Honestly, whenever I started my YouTube channel uh, back in 2015 almost four years ago uh, three and a half years ago I think right now actually almost four years ago I believe maybe even over four years ago um, I wasn't even thinking about that stuff you know I was just a little little old Brooks and uh, just wanted to film some fishing adventures um, I, I obviously I didn't do it for money I don't do it for money now I don't even make money so you guys can't really say that right to me um, yeah, um, but, uh, yeah, you know, just to, just to have fun, film, I just had a GoPro at that time, so I was like, let's just stick it on the chest, let's just go out and film, and I can get some cool fishing, cool fish catches on there, um, and I'll just upload them, and, you know, whoever wants to watch them, watches them, you know, so, um, that was kind of my mindset, um, like I said, not for money or anything, you know, or success um, <coughs> um, but you know just to have just to have fun with it and share my fishing adventures I live in here in Arkansas I don't know a whole lot of you fishing youtubers um, so not a whole lot of people have experienced what I'm experiencing right now um, but we've got tons of wildlife and it's beautiful we've got tons of creeks hopefully I'll be able to expand on those uh, this summer whenever I can drive just like all day you know I don't have to be in school um, but you know just have fun share my fishing adventures share my knowledge the things that I learn while on the water I can share them with you guys and you guys can go out and use those skills um, and if they work they work for you if they don't you know then maybe you'll learn something from the Google squad you know um, but I just kind of share my knowledge, share my stuff with y'all. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm actually very far away from the camera right now. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys have any other questions, either comment down below or follow me on Instagram and DM me and uh, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, or if you want it to be in a video, I can uh, just tell me and I can just like screenshot it and uh, I'll keep it for the next Q&A video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed as always. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, go subscribe. 
And uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.